Welcome to the Booze and the Bees podcast. I am Ella Boo. And I'm Jeff Lebu. Jeff Lebu. Jeff Lebu. <laughs> Are you going to start doing that now? I like it. I don't it. know. Do you like it? I'm not French. Maybe you should do like a different accent each time. I'm very not French. I don't have any other accents. <laughs> I don't even I don't even have that accent for anyone out there who's like, oh, but he has a French one. I don't I don't have that either. No accents. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. I, I like it. We're working on the intro. But welcome. Welcome. We're gonna have another fun episode for y'all. We're gonna watch some clips. Um well I'm gonna show him clips. It's fun. I find the clips on TikTok and and then I prep them for the podcast. And I actually have four clips. Look at that. Four, four. clips. Yeah. But they're all related. They're all like relationship. Uh, and it's like a trend. So. Yeah. Um, oh, I got to make sure I'm screen recording. Are we ready to start? We're going to jump yeah. right into the clip. I think we jump right into the clips. Yeah. Why well, okay. make him wait? Why well, make him wait for the I gold. also have my electric jazz cabbage. So shout out to Fino. Uh, I've got my Fino cart. So you see me, I'll be a puff puff and all that. But all right, let me make sure I start the screen recording. And I'm going to show you the first video. I really want an orange right now. All right, try right here, but. But like I, I really want it, but like I hate peeling it. You hate peeling it? Yeah, right, it just cool. gets really messy. Okay. Cool. And I have nails. It'll get like. Under Clock, buddy. Go ahead and do her. You're not going to peel it for me? Okay, as if I don't do enough. Seriously? Yeah, I'm being for real. Dude, I ask you to do things all the I time. I do everything. Though, I just did your fucking laundry. No. And you can't peel this for me? Figure your life out, dude. It's not all about what your man can do for you. It's about what you can do for yourself, right? No, but like a good boyfriend would peel this for me. Right. Or like do something and for me that I'm it? perfectly capable of. Obviously, I can peel this. But like if and you a great were... Boyfriend, a great boyfriend would tell you to do it yourself. I'm not a good boyfriend. I'm a great one. And I'm trying to make you strong and independent and build you up as a female. Well, that's the point. I can't. Like, you're not even It's going to take... Oh, well, I mean, I guess you get the kind of the first point of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, any yeah. any comments yet so far? Oh, I, I mean, I think it's funny. Like, it seems to me like an obvious fake fight. Yeah. Like, like it's... Like, duh, a fake fight. Yeah. Who wouldn't... Who wouldn't just peel the orange? Let I me show you. You were doing, she was doing that to me earlier, and I had no <laughs> idea. Uh, she was like, can you peel this? And I just so peeled it's it. it's called, like, the orange peel uh, trend or whatever with your boyfriend. So that girl, I don't know if that good girl originally started it. I was showing you a stitch. Like, someone is stitching this video, and an they're video. making a point. All harsh and rough and whatnot. He does not like you as a person. He only likes what he can get out of you. Just the way he was referring to you tells me that. I mean, buddy, dude. And then he crosses over into the nasty territory. You know, there's no babe, no honey, no boo, no, you like know. People take it like. Like seriously. Seriously. Like an obvious fake fight. Yeah, like, here's another Here's another one of their videos. I need you to raise me up like a random girl. Like random? show me. Yeah, I want to test Like how this. I used to do it, right? Because, like, I, obviously I don't stand. Like, like you can tell. Girl. Okay, okay, random. Like, like I'm single. Like, but like I'm single. a lot if of I people can't. Oh, okay, okay. Just raise me up like a random girl. I bet. Okay. Damn! You shit with that fucking thing, bro? Oh, my what God! What is that back there? Babe, does that work? Dude. <laughs> you got a dumb show service? What is that? <laughs> the point of that one is, like, because she's, like, raise me up like I'm a random girl. And he's, like, oh, this is how I treat a random girl. I think this is, like, one more of their videos. I'm home. Oh, yay. Uh, are you hungry? I gotta cook for you. What the fuck you want? Beans, rice, probably the only thing I'm gonna cook for you. He is your shaker. You ain't worth that. So, <laughs> Why are you being oh, yeah. rude? Yeah, so, like, I looked at their page, and it's, like, oh, them basically acting out bad relationship scenarios, and then people just getting so upset with him, like, like I came from, because I think the Orange Peel video, like, is, like, the recent blow-up, and mm. they're, like, like, I just came from the video, he wouldn't even peel your orange, like, <laughs> like and just people totally analyzing it how what he's saying that the first video I'm showing you the girl saying like this shows that you could be beautiful and it doesn't matter like oh how they'll treat you <laughs> and i'm just like wow like well, <laughs> we what? should act out skits like this. oh i'm i'm so down like for sure 
Uh, yeah, the one thing I have to say about that is there's a lot of people on the internet who are going to try to analyze your life because theirs is a wreck, you know, and mm -hmm. that's the best you can do. I mean, obviously, the person who stitched that had a bad boyfriend and or they were a bad girlfriend mm -hmm. and, and, you know, wasn't, wasn't getting the best out of their partner and said, oh, they wouldn't even do this is because you're beautiful. And it's like you're making everything superficial. It's like, look, you definitely have to have some appeal for your partner get it yeah get it yeah yeah i was going for it i tried to make it like <laughs> you gotta have some appeal for I them i got it i got it yeah nice. nice um but beyond the first attraction it really is like who your partner is as a person like you have to think you might think guys just want like to play and party and like use you and get rid of you but like 10 percent of men are getting all of the attraction of any of any women in the dating market like most guys just want someone that they can hang with every day mm -hmm. and that they can do that for the next 50 years and still be attracted to so it's like you have to hit the bare threshold of attractiveness maintain that and not be lame and you'll have a great partner yeah. so many women don't know that and attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder absolutely so yeah, I thought that I thought that part was silly. I think I, I skipped over it because that's when I was like, "Oh, I should save this." Because she was going on a whole thing like, "Look, look how beautiful she is, and she gets treated like this and stuff." And it's fake, mm -hmm. like so fake. They probably have like the best relationship. Oh yeah, it looks like they're doing <laughs> awesome. They're, yeah. It looks like they're having so much fun. Yeah, they have like you know good following and well to star, but like great views and stuff on just mm -hmm. like. I, I want to redo the video now since you now you know about it, and I want you to throw the orange at me. Oh yeah, just <laughs> I want get you crazy to just with it. Chuck it at my face. Oh, how dare you ask me this? I guess here's the last you orange witch. video. This okay, is yeah. like, and let's like watch a good amount of it so they can see what the it's turnaround. Up. Well, this is this is, is this, this is the no, this is a green flag one, but oh. is also fake. Yeah. Okay. So okay, <sighs> I'm kind of hungry. You want me to make something for you? I can cook. I just actually just bought those steaks yesterday. I could do some steaks and potatoes, a little broccoli and cheese. <laughs> nah, I kind of want something lighter. I'm not, I don't want all that. Lighter? Yeah. Uh, what about Chick-fil-A? I can get you that 12 pound nugget, medium fry. <laughs> that cookies and cream milkshake with two cherries. Sound good, but nah, I kind of just want like a little snack for real. A snack, like what? Just pass me that orange over there. Okay. Right like we could do these two. We could do both sides. You want it sliced in half, or you want a bunch of mini oranges running around? <laughs> I'll do it. Just give it to me. I'll peel it and everything. Peel what? Cow. Look at those hands. I just Cow. spent a hundred dollars on those nails. Oh my you god! You ain't touching nothing with those freshly painted French tips. Oh my god, Kyle! For real? I don't know what French now. tip is. No, no, how you want it? It's just like when the white tip just on the nail, <laughs> so nail style. Those fish chips I just did for you. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's just the opposite. Bro, it's not that bad. I can do it. Showing a good, a good relationship to the orange peel theory. That's what they're calling it. Sure. I, that's which is just ridiculous. Like, the orange peel theory as an idea that, like, you should make your boyfriend do menial things. And that they should be just inclined to do them. No, the... the I think the point was like it because uh, I feel like, like the point was like like to uh, you, like you literally didn't even question it. Yeah. Right. So yeah. the point I think is like it, even the bare minimum asking your partner to do that. Yeah, it should, like there's so many things that are so many like you shouldn't you shouldn't have to bring it. Oh, what I was trying to get at is like you shouldn't have to <laughs> a make jazzy. a big deal <laughs> about something so little. Right. It's like. If I asked you to do something that I can completely do, you just would normally do it, and vice versa. Yeah, because they were obviously d dramatized yeah. versions. Like it's not even real. Like I don't even think there's a real. I don't think there's one like, real one on the internet. That was probably like the orange peel thing. Was like that was probably the first. Yeah, hers is the first video. So it was like all based off of a fake thing. But now it's a trend, and I've seen so many people doing it. And it's so funny because just so you guys know, a lot of people on the internet. Do skits. Yeah. 
it's not real. And you can't even tell. Oh, like we saw the I saw the fake car giveaway. Oh yeah, there's a fake car giveaway guy. You should have shown that video and then yeah. checked his account. Yeah, I, I I mean I could maybe find it. But. Yeah, you may as well while we're sitting here, okay. then we can record it and s- slap that one on there. Um, right. But yeah, yeah, no, the internet's super fake, and so that's so funny about any of these kind of challenges is that they don't they don't really matter in the real world and you're not going to see them be like that you know any of the viral videos that you're going to see on this topic are going to be overtly nice or overtly angry on purpose and everyone's gonna be like can you believe guys and girls act like this i'm like nobody does there's a lot of people trying to get views on the internet ourselves included yeah but so. we're, we're we're not doing it like i mean not maliciously look. No, never maliciously. I can't. Yeah. And, and I don't think a lot of them are doing it maliciously. They just think it's funny. It's blowing up. You may as well do it. But it definitely is not like a real thing that would ever dictate how your relationship runs. Yeah. Because also, I mean, what if you're saying, hey, can you get an orange and peel it for me? And we didn't have oranges and I had to like go to the store. I'd be like, babe, are you kidding? We got to go to the store tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be like, okay, I'll go do it. You know, it wouldn't be the case. Okay, I found it. Okay. Finally. Sorry, it took me a minute, y'all. Okay, here we go. Thank for you. you, my friend. Uh, thank you so much. Seriously, happy birthday, Alex. I'm so, <laughs> so happy for you. Uh, this is the first video I, I stumbled upon on, on TikTok. special day? Um, no, not today. Um, no? I, I, well, I have... I'm work actually working tonight too, so. No, you're not working a double. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I always work doubles on my birthday. No, <laughs> you can't. We gotta talk to the boss about that. Hey, double, boss. Double D's on the happy hey. birthday. Hey, what's up? How do people buy this? How are you doing, man? We were just telling Alex doing? like how much we appreciate it. But they do. Yeah, dude, happy yeah, birthday, look man. Good. And no judgment if so you also too buy Thank it. You. Well, why don't you open up a present? Let's a see little what you bit got. of judgment from me. Yeah. 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 She's <laughs> nice. I judge you, but my judgment you. doesn't matter if that helps okay. you sleep at night. Gee. Nothing I judge matters. Thank you so much. I, oh, there's actually, another one too that I want to show you. So like, here's, so this is another no. example. I guess we're kind of talking about like fake videos now. Kind of. Yeah, we're like talking about fake videos, but show them his account so that they like know. No, he doesn't have an account. They just, I, you have to, I, I somehow found the right search where um it popped up all of his different videos but it was just a search it's not like he had a page it was like different pages posting this same guy winning a or not winning getting a car as a surprise for his birthday and Uh, like there was like there's like 20 30 of them that are fake giveaway car videos Mm -hmm. with the same guy i mean in like what a good business strategy like imagine going to your local businesses and saying i get like a million views per hit of this video and it's you just giving me a fake free car he doesn't take the free car but he's getting tons of views and tons of money just like scamming people out of their emotional capacity and now that is malicious because you're actually like tricking people into this you know emotional state that you know a viewer shouldn't have to be a part of it's like yeah to get I mean, attention it's like, by but it's like, like being TV, that false. Right? TV is meant to incite an emotion about like a story Mm -hmm. and if I mean I guess it's kind of hard because if you're doing an obviously fake thing that is fake but they tell it in a way that makes you feel good about it then it did its job but if you're lying to people about what's going on to make them feel good like you're deceiving people into thinking it's an authentic act of kindness. Like you're mm. tricking people into the acts of kindness. Like there are real acts of kindness. If you did a movie about someone's real act of kindness, or if you did a movie about what acts of kindness should be, then you're yeah. telling a story about I what see. life should be. You're not saying life is actually just a lie and everyone's deceitful and everything's horrible. Like there's some things that are obvious skits and some things that are like maliciously bad. Like there was one where there was a, a band and a handicapped kid that was at one of their concerts and the band um, singer wanted to meet up with that kid. Well, he didn't know how to get a hold of him. The YouTuber found that kid and then made a skit where he went and saw the dad and said, Hey, this guy wants to meet your son. I'm going to facilitate that. Uh, let's do a video where you give me a hundred dollars when I ask for it because I'm gonna ask for it on the street and then it's gonna be a random act of kindness that this band guy is gonna meet your kid 
and it's going to be this wonderful heart touching story. It's a, it's a kid in a wheelchair who's got cancer and he doesn't have long to live. And it was just like really heartfelt that the dad had that much compassion and it really did get people into it. But at the end of the day, even though that was fake, it was actually the real band singer actually got in touch with that kid. So it was really a heart touching story. But the thing that got money was the virality of it being a little scripted. Well, maybe he got the car. Maybe he really got the car. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, we're allowed to look at the bright side of things. I just, you know, it's one thing isn't like the other, even though one's scripted and the other one's scripted. Mm-hmm. One, they actually got the band and the person together. The other is just some rich guy who came up with a scheme to get views by saying he's getting fake cars. Even if he's getting real ones, it's like, well, now you're rich. You've got 50 cars. Like, so now the no, it's always been the same car. Core. It's the same car. The same Tesla. Same Tesla. Mm-hmm. I thought that was like a Toyota Corolla right there. Oh, I don't. We could look. We'd have to look back later. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I found oh. a different example. Okay, video. cool. Yeah, let's watch it a little bit. Okay. I don't know why there's no sound. My bad. Okay, well. I'll we'll have to watch it again. So she faked that with her mm-hmm. roommate. It's obviously faked, right? Uh, and it got millions of views. It's got millions. That's not even her page posting it like it got shared by so many different pages and stuff and so the dutch bros people fired the manager and the girl who threw the drink at her because people thought it was real i mean was it an actual employee even though it was her friend yeah but they got the okay from the manager well then you should get fired sorry it sucks i don't think so look i don't think it's like fireable someone else said i never heard of dutch bros before this video so that's why they had to fire them like you got a lot of attention and it's off brand and if you mm. if you're an employee and you made your company look bad sorry you get fired uh, see, i don't I care who you are that you're funny. an employee mm. it's obviously faked they could have had permission it doesn't matter if i get permission from my manager to come in wearing a speedo I can't, you know, because it still makes the brand look bad. The manager gets fired. The employee gets fired. It doesn't matter. Nobody had a bad time. What if there's no one even came in that day? Doesn't matter. Still fired. The brand has an image. You're not allowed to do that. The manager was wrong. Hmm. That's funny. Yeah. I I, I thought I was just like, oh, it's harmless because it's like pretend. But I guess I can see it. Yeah. Especially on the topic of pretend videos tricking people. What if they did yeah, think that was real? But that's funny. It's like... It, it's just, it's not, it's not their company. It wasn't their decision. Yeah. The marketing team didn't approve that. You would have had to approve it with someone who has actual authority, not just the manager. I would think the manager is okay enough. I don't, I think maybe, maybe fire the manager, not the employee. Because uh, the manager okayed it. Look, you, when you're, when you're That'd a multi-billion okay. dollar company, they're not talking about who the employee is. No, they're not. That's why we need to have more small local businesses that can do funny things like this without such harsh repercussions. Like, I'm definitely down mm. for a capitalist society with business owners running things a and ca- not a bunch of corporate, capi- oh gosh, right. you know, Big words nonsense. Mm. I don't know what capitalist society means. Capitalist? Yeah, I'm you bad You do things with for money? Knowing terms like that? Yeah. Do things so for money? Communist, you starve. Capitalist, you live a good life, but you have to work for it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and then crony capitalism is oh, your no. business okay. is so your big turn. that you're a communist, okay. basically. Well, that I ran out of fake videos now, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the internet. But not all of it's fake, so don't don't think it's all fake, for sure. Yeah. No, it's not. And and again, just remember, right? Any of your favorite influencers or anybody, even if they're fake, can give you inspiration. I mean, just look at how many people were inspired by Star Wars. Like that wasn't really done in space. I don't know if you thought it was. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It God. wasn't done in space. You just crushed so many dreams. I don't know. Look what you've done. Sorry. <laughs> Cancelled. I met Darth Vader. The Not real one? 
James Earl Jones, but the guy in the suit. Not like the actual one from space. Yeah. I went to space. I didn't tell you. Yeah. I, well, yeah. I went to Mars. Is that where they are? No. <laughs> no, they're in a far, far away Yeah, they're galaxy. far, far away. Really far. Yeah. I. <laughs> anyways, I really did meet him, though. Yeah. Well, that's cool, but, in you England. know. Any of these movies, <laughs> they inspire you to be better. You can find someone who's a fake persona, and if it makes you better, then you win. Then it's real. So, take it for what it is. And that's why if you find anything on the internet that makes your life worse, you may as well just assume it's fake and go on with your life. I think that might be a good way to like move on. What do you think about that? Wait, what? If it's fake and it makes your life better and improves you as a person, then it's real. You may as well believe it is. Okay. And if it's a video that makes your life worse or doesn't improve you or increase the quality of your life, then it's fake. Then move on. Move even on. if it was real. Yeah, move on. Even if it's real, move on. And even if the other one's fake, consider it as being real and improve from it. Might be a good yeah. lesson still, even if it's faked. It could be a good lesson for you. Yeah, it's funny to me when I see videos of people being like, "Oh my god, I can't stand these ASMR videos and like all the noises they make and all this stuff." And I'm just like, "It's so funny. You made a whole two minute video about this. You could have just like scrolled past it. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's really easy." And then they're like, "It's all I see on my feed." I'm like, "Yeah, because you're watching it. That's the and only way it gets to your feed. Posting about it." Yeah. <laughs> You have to realize, like, people come into my live stream, why do, I, why do you keep popping up on my feed? Because you watch and and now I have interacted. So now I'm going to pop up even more, which is what you truly wanted. But it's just so funny that people, I don't know, it's funny. No, it's funny that people do that. And that's also how you get in a echo chamber of negativity. If you comment echo on chamber? an echo chamber. Oh, echo chamber. Yeah, what do you think I said? Neko chamber. The hell's that? I don't know. That's why I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really know what an echo chamber is. So an echo chamber is when <laughs> you say something into the void and you get the same stuff back. So if you put a bunch of negativity mm. out there, you get mm. a bunch of negativity in return. Definitely. And so that's what has been really heavy in dividing the country and society and couples for a long time is that if you have a problem with your partner and you go talk to your friends and your part and your friends talk bad about your partner, then everything you hear is bad feedback. Yeah. And so it ends up being bad. If you hear everything about conservatives is bad and then you only talk to liberals, then you're only going to believe that they're bad all the time and mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm -hmm. Right. And you have to see both sides of people and like expand your vision a little bit. Definitely. And what social media does is if you only reply to things you hate, you're only going to see things you hate because the algorithm knows you're going to reply to it and you're going to watch yeah. it and it's going to be outrageous and but negative. But I think they secretly love it. It's like a love hate. I don't know. Because people if they hate watch. People hate watch. People do hate watch, but it's one of those things where your brain kind of gets addicted to hating something because through evolution, you were only really involved with your community, your tribe, your small group of people. If there was mm -hmm. something that was outrageous in your group, if it wasn't handled immediately, it was a danger to the entire tribe. If you had a lookout that didn't look out, you could be eaten by tigers and lions. You okay. know? So when people now have access to more information than you can ever possibly handle everywhere in the world all at once that you have no input into, mm -hmm. you're going to be funneled into that human nature to say, I have to fix this problem. And you're going to reply to it because you yeah. want to fix it. You will not fix it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are the person to fix it, you know you're the person to fix it and you're probably in politics or you're probably a guru or you're doing something about it right. actively. Yeah. But if you're not and you're just scrolling the internet, by sucking yourself into the negativity and your evolutionary sense to fight wrong will pop up. Yeah. And you just need to avoid it because you can't fight all wrong. We were never able to see outside of our tribe. That would be like 20 people. Now we can see billions of That's you know, so hours crazy of to think of. We really yeah, shouldn't be allowed. But I also at the same time love it. Like I love being able to have access to people that I never would just like run into in the street and, and become friends with and stuff. So there's just like 
Yeah. There probably just always is good and bad in everything, huh? There's good and bad in everything. There's bad in not having access to everything, and there's good in having access to everything. And it's just literally about how do we teach ourselves and teach our neighbors and our computer, uh, our community and our children how to handle the change. Humans have evolved yeah. past every other animal because our eyes didn't improve. We learned how to make glasses. Mm-hmm. We learned how to make wheelchairs for injured. We learned how to do surgeries, you know, to, to fix people who had some incurable diseases or injuries. Mm-hmm. So humans have bypassed biological evolution. The next step is this knowledge of everything. And so now we have to say, as biological creatures, how do we manage this? And I think that's where we could come in, at least in our community, the people who watch us and say, stop replying to all the negative things. Start replying to the positive things. Your feedback loop will go from everything negative that you think you need to fight to everything positive that will give you action plans on actually improving your life. Yeah, that's what I had to do when I started Mm -hmm. YouTube because it was like the first platform where I was like getting mostly hate because and in my comments and stuff because you know i was just starting it and building it and i didn't have all of my followers on there and stuff so i had to really stop myself (laughs) checking the comments for a little bit and like checking my tiktok comments because they were nicer which is funny to say i still get mean ones but like it really is a lot better to just like pay no mind pay no mind it's someone's opinion which they're allowed to have you put something on the internet they're allowed to have an opinion about it which I've come to terms with now. <laughs> and because uh, I've, trust me, I've had plenty of arguments with people in comments and it's so not worth it. And no, like live happens? streams, they usually don't care to listen to anything you have to say. They, and then, they just want to just keep spewing negativity. And, and here, let's see what the best case scenario is. They stop being negative. And I've had that happen in my lives, which is why I had to slow down on, on banning people because they'll come in and being negative to me and um i'll ignore it or make a joke and then the like the, i'm thinking of like one person for example like they came into my live and like were being rude and like saying like that i was like doing all this for attention and stuff and i was like oh like you're my biggest fan though like they look at you like it's gonna send me all this love and comments and and so like it took later on that night when i was back on live and they came back in and then they were like oh man like you're actually cool and then started being cool in the chat and stuff and then followed me and then i was like people are so strange yeah (laughs) sometimes you just never know so it's really just depending on my mood and energy if i want to give them energy back but yeah never like actually like oh that really affected me oh i have to give i have to like make a point it's never been like that yeah and again the best case is that they're nice but they might do that anyway just Mm -hmm. by you being the best version of yourself. So Mm -hmm. you may as well just do that anyway. Yeah. And the worst case is you wasted your time and emotional energy arguing with somebody Mm -hmm. who, again, you will not meet. Right. There's there's almost no chance that you will ever meet that person. Mm -hmm. And you being mean to them will do nothing except affect you negatively and impact how well you treat other people. Yeah. And the you're going to have bad no matter what way you go. Someone is not going to like you. And mm-hmm. that's life. Definitely. Yeah, I get a lot of people who are like, I'm so scared to be a creator because of the negative comments. I'm like, you literally can't avoid it. You can't. You can't. It's just life, unfortunately, on the internet. <laughs> and But you find a lot of positivity in it as well. Mm. So that's why it's been a little bit easier to keep going, keep mm-hmm. pushing because of the positivity. <laughs> that i've received on it and that just comes from responding to positive people yep and praising positive people for being there yeah reminding the people that you like that they are wanted yeah and that they are worth something and when you continue just to put that positivity out there then the positive people stay because Mm -hmm. we care about them and they need care and affection and love on the internet too they need to feel validated yeah. And when they're not validated, they get angry and upset. And if you just fight with them, it's like not only are you hurting that person, you're hurting yourself. And if they're going to stay bad forever, then they can do that on their own time. Put the positivity out there and show those positive that you're going to keep them around. Exactly. And you're going to build a better community. 
Yeah. And also focus on your neighbors, everybody. Go outside every once in a while and say hello. Give them a piece of bread. I'm bad at that. And stuff. We're bad at We bake thing. We bake sourdough yeah, right for when neighbors. we moved in, now it's been a year. <laughs> yeah, we're busy. <laughs> we are busy. We are busy. Very busy. Look at us go with this podcast. No one made us bread. Uh, bread sounds so good. It does Can you stop good. talking about bread? <laughs> mm, sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pretzel. Oh, no. It's mm. so good. That's I need to learn how to so make pretzels. Good. This took a weird turn. It did take a weird turn. It I told good. them it was going to be about relationships, which is hilarious. Because it, <laughs> like, it took a weird TikTok fake video turn. and then, yeah. yeah, but look. That's... It took a turn like my mustache. I literally did this right before. Yeah. I literally came in and I like Are you trying to be in curled it. And it like went all crazy. For anybody not watching, just go watch us on YouTube. You'll see it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm super sad. For anyone not watching, go watch. All yeah, right. I don't know why you're not going to do that later. You listened. You may as well go watch it. <laughs> also, this episode is brought to you by us. Uh, thank y'all so much for the love and support we've gotten so far. And I appreciate all the comments mm -hmm. and likes and subscribes. Truly, truly. And reshares on um instagram and stuff i got a reshare uh, from john in the desert shout out on instagram and i was just like <gasps> like she was watching us while working like oh, this cool. is the best background while i work I oh was like, that's wonderful it's like, <laughs> it makes my heart so happy to see that it's so cool it's weird to see us on people's tvs though <laughs> you were on someone's tv they yeah were people watch TV? youtube on tv it's like a thing oh wow yeah so yeah, we were on their TV, and I was like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's so <wild>. cute. <laughs> so, hi, we're on the big screen. Woo! Ooh, big screen. I always wanted to be Let's on the go. big screen. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Well, well, we'll keep being on the big screen. Watch us go. Watch yeah, us grow. We're we're growing. <laughs> we're we're growers, not showers. Oh God. Are we? Are we we're growers? Both. We're showers. Show these gains. No one can see because we got this big computer. I know. <laughs> Just imagine like the best physique you could. I really want to practice two cams soon. Okay. We don't we have our co-host Hamilton, but we need to get a shelf. We need this computer. Oh, we need out to of post our wish list. You haven't posted the wish list? No. Oh my goodness. I don't have a landing page for us. We need a landing page. Well, gosh. Okay, I'll put it in the link tree for now. Love you guys so much. Ready? Gaffa yourself. Gaffa. 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 Stay jazzy, my friends. It's a boisterous laugh. Stay jazzy, my cabbages. I should start Ooh, saying that. Your cabbages, but they're your booze. Oh, yeah, and my booze. Yeah, they're your booze. I call the people on my Snoop Dogg activities TikTok my cabbages. Oh, no. What if we have two now audiences? Gonna be Is that confusing? A little bit. They're boo cabbages? <laughs> Are they boobages? No, babe. I just... Oh, gosh. Boobages. <laughs> I can have two different lines. Like, two, two different lines. fashion lines, you know? No one like has the two jazz fashion cabbage. lines. So many people have, like, multiple, like, businesses. What are you talking about? Look. It's like Red Lobster name? and Chili's. Like, it'll be booze and cabbages. <laughs> like, jazz cabbage could be, like, the bougie, fancy clothing line. And then the booze is, like, spooky, mm. colorful, magical, Look. sometimes dark. Lady Gaga just all has monsters, me. so that's all I'm going to say. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'm not supposed to follow everybody else. You can have two people. Be unique. Two people. You guys comment below what, what the fuck I should what do. If they what were do you caboos, want from me? But then no one would know what you're talking about, a cabo. No, yeah, because jazz cabbage is like a action. It's like a verb. And then are you ready to do jazz now. cabbage? Hitting the jazz cabbage. No, that's still a noun. Oh. <laughs> God. It's like a noun with an adjective attached to it. Okay, it's an adjective. It's a... God. It's a, it's a noun. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. I don't know what you want from me. We'll figure it out as we okay. go. Because we're also like boos and bees i'm also a bee so we're there's bee, just like so we're, many things we're booby jizz we're boobages yeah booby the bgs <laughs> is that how they came up with their name 
can be the bougies. Do you think they had this like? Ooh, the bougies. The bougies. <laughs> I want to be the bo- well, like bougies, the bougies. Ooh, they're the bougies. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> be like, can, like it's gonna discount. be on the Vegas block. You know, everyone's gonna go to the bougie store. <laughs> okay. so you're gonna go get bougie. I love that. I love that. Hey, any any people out there, all five of you watching, any one of you that makes clothing, we got to go make the bougie line. Yeah, well, so many lines now. Oh, so now yeah. we can have that line, but yeah. I can't have two lines. No, one is a fan base, and the other is like a, a product line. Products, you can do whatever you want. Exactly, it'll be like a product. Jazz cabbage products. Mm-hmm. A line. A line. All right. We can't be telling the audience to do lines. Babe. We're not. Oh my god. All right. Love you guys. So many product we lines. We already did our guffaw. That should have been our signal. Well, we didn't that. laugh. We always have to end in a laugh, and you did. Did I? You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's over. Now we win. I uh, love you guys so much. All right. You're done.